A video from Jerusalem's old city has now gone viral. It shows Orthodox Jewish men and children spitting on the ground as they pass a group of Christians carrying a cross. Well, Israeli leaders quickly condemned the incident, and now police have arrested some of the men in the video. Chris Mitchell reports from Jerusalem. The video shows Christian pilgrims carrying a cross onto the Via Dolorosa, the traditional route Jesus walked to Calvary. As they walked out, Orthodox men and boys spit on the ground. The incident took place here at the first station of the cross, where many Christians retraced the steps of Jesus on the way to the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, believed to be the place where Jesus was buried and rose again. When the video hit social media, reaction from Israeli and Jewish leaders quickly followed, including Israel's chief rabbis and Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu stated offensive behavior towards worshipers is a desecration and is unacceptable. We will show zero tolerance toward any harm to worshipers. CBN News also asked Jerusalem's mayor, Moshe Leon, about the incident. I condemn it, and we're making sure there won't be any incidents like this in the future. Incidents like this are forbidden in Jerusalem and in the state of Israel. But because I'm the mayor of Jerusalem, I'm responsible to make sure things like this won't happen. During the annual Jerusalem March at the Feast of Tabernacles, CBN talked with Hananya Neftali, social media advisor to the prime minister. All, all corners of the Israeli leadership have condemned it, from the president to the prime minister to uh, members of uh, the Knesset, our parliament. So um, it, it is good to see that Israeli leaders say, take a stand and say, this persecution of Christians does not represent who we are as Israelis. One Jewish activist defended the spitting incident and wrote on X that perhaps under the influence of Western culture, we have forgotten what Christianity is. But I think the millions of Jews who experienced the Crusades, the Inquisition, blood libel, and mass programs will never forget. But David Parsons of the ICEJ stated, we must be the first to admit there is a much longer painful history of Christian hostility towards the Jewish people. But thankfully, there has been a sea change in Christian attitudes concerning the nation and people of Israel in our day. Chris Mitchell, CBN News, in Jerusalem's Old City. Well, it's certainly unfortunate. I, uh, anyone that has any familiarity with walking the streets of Jerusalem, uh, you, you may have seen this kind of behavior. It may have, may have occurred. Have there been incidents in the past? Yes. Has there been anti-Christian graffiti actually put on places of worship churches in Jerusalem and in Israel? The answer is yes. But that is not the majority opinion. It's certainly not the uh, standard of the government. The Jewish people have been faithful stewards of Jerusalem, of all the holy sites in Israel, whether those are Muslim sites or Christian sites. They absolutely have been good stewards since they took over in 1967. Now, let's go back in history. When Jordan had control of Jerusalem, were Jews allowed? Uh, and the answer is no, they weren't. They weren't even allowed in a place called the Jewish Quarter in the old city. They were completely removed. Their synagogues were destroyed and desecrated. They weren't allowed to go to the Western Wall. They weren't allowed anywhere near it. So let's congratulate them for their decades of faithful stewardship and not let these isolated incidents uh, from, from extremists, uh, let's, let's not do that. And let's continue the dialogue to say, we're not against you, we're with you. We're with you in this struggle. We want to see you succeed. We want to see you have the right of self-determination. We support 